Hello, um, I'm finishing uh, the coil. It was uh, I was using as an L4, and I'm using now this coil to drive this layer exciter. The driving coil, the L2 now, is just uh, connected with the negative earth ground and uh, as mongrel shark suggested I am exploring the connection from uh, the bottom of the coil uh, to the earth ground connected on this black alligator clip and I am testing a few things in series in here I've tested uh, a few incandescent bulbs uh, that can turn them on I mean it lights the filament I was testing uh, some single wire pancake coils like this and they can produce energy with another coil on the top like this if you place uh, in series with the earth ground here here coming from the bottom of the coil and here going to the earth ground and on the top you place another uh, coil you can have more energy in here and the best result I get until now was uh, just placing a socket and <clears throat> from the bottom of the coil coming to the socket and from the socket to the earth ground. This is um, a 9 watt CFL uh, bulb. It's empty inside. Uh, just no circuits just connected the wires back to the bottom of the bulb and let me turn this on here as you can see uh, I have a full brightness CFL On, uh, in series with the earth ground connected to the bottom of the coil I still have plasma on the L2 I mean the L1 and uh, I'm connected here the negative rail to the negative sorry to the earth ground and this guy here is sharing the same earth ground and in between I have uh, the CFL uh, in series on uh, the, the, the entrance part I have here the 30 watt 30 volts uh, power supply that I'm using is a printer power supply uh, the positive rail is coming through this uh, red wire here this is a, a bulb that I've made to use as a wireless light just placing it uh, near the, the wire I can have light in here same as my uh, oscillator circuits I just place it around near the the positive coming from the power supply to the layer exciter and uh, well here on this layer exciter is the same setup I have the plasma see if the tube is on 
I have this uh, LED cluster connected to an AV plug and uh, my LED lamps here are turned on and if I turn them off they still are they still on just with the Slayer exciter and uh, Really the, the best part is this CFL in here connected uh, in series with the earth ground and as I approach the coil from the main coil there is a point here I get full brightness CFL in here. Uh, it's really very, very bright. It's just a, an empty CFL, but it's in full brightness. Uh, so this is another uh, update. Uh, I followed the tip from Mongrel Shark to use uh, something to explore this uh, connection from the L3 to the earth ground and I'm testing what I can use in series in here and this is really amazing I have full brightness CFL in here uh, it's a 9 watt CFL and uh, it's really bright. I can st I still have the same uh, light on the tube here on the LED cluster, and I have a little bit of a plasma coming come from the coil. And as as I increase the distance between the L3 and the L1 the plasma gets stronger this is a very interesting once the two coils are coupled the brightness on the CFL stays the same even if I uh, take the CFL close to the coil I don't have the same amount of brightness in here it's, it's really amazing So another way to use the Slayer Exciter. Uh, in my tests in here and in my opinion, this is the best result I get until now. I got until now. Uh, the best light too was using this method. And uh, thank you Mongrel Shark for the tip. I've tried the uh, incandescent bulb here, but it's not the same amount of light. So this is the CFL uh, L3 earth ground connection and uh, thanks for watching